Hello and welcome to NB Drive. My name is Nish Manya and today you join me for a very big announcement for this channel. I'm going on a road trip and it's a big one. I'm going to be driving across the very famous Golden Quadrilateral and I'm going to be doing it solo. The entire journey is going to start on 12th Feb and there's a whole lot I need to tell you about this expedition so let's get into it. <laughs> The planning for this expedition started only a couple of weeks back uh, at the start of this year. I decided I wanted to take on a slightly big challenge for this uh, year and not only for the year but also for my YouTube channel. I've done a couple of trips here and there uh, in the last couple of months my channel has been active and uh, they've been a little tame so I wanted to really push my limits and uh, try something big. So when I started planning, there were a few different options that uh, I walked through and uh, sort of saw different permutation combinations. But I settled on the Golden Quadrilateral one because my starting point would be in Mumbai. Those of you who've seen my previous videos will know I'm back in my Bombay apartment. And um, yeah, this was going to be the starting point of my trip. So. With that in mind, uh, the Golden Quadrilateral really stood out to me because it is a big project. It connects the four major metros of India, that's uh, Bombay, Delhi, Calcutta, Chennai. And uh, it just seemed like a very good route. And then the more I looked into it, the better the timing felt because uh, 2024 marks 25 years of the foundation of the Golden Quadrilateral being laid. It was done back in 1999 by our then Prime Minister Atal Bihari Vajpayee. So this is a big milestone for this entire project and uh, it's actually now pretty much in its completed form. All the cities are connected by either four or six lane highways. So the infrastructure is supposed to be pretty good and it also promotes the fact that you can connect our four major cities uh, and do long distances fairly easily now considering the road network's pretty good. So I sort of wanted to test that out for myself and see just how good these roads are and uh, whether you can consistently do long distances on them. Now, I'm no stranger to long drives. I have done a fair few before. I did one uh, right after I got my license with my mama. It was a 4,000 kilometer road trip from uh, Bombay all the way to Amritsar and back. And uh, that really got my first taste of what long distance driving was like. But of course, it was with someone else. Since then, while I was working as a automotive journalists at the different publications. I've gotten to go on a few different trips uh, in Rajasthan, Northeast. Apart from that, I myself have taken on a few different adventures, uh, be it from Bombay to Goa, to Hyderabad, uh, Delhi, those kind of road trips I've already done. However, this is something really special for me. Uh, it's the largest trip I'm gonna be doing completely on my own and uh, it's gonna cover over 6,000 kilometers and I have only about 15 days to do it in. Out of those 15 days, 13 days I'll be driving, there are two rest days. And this entire trip, it was fairly daunting when I started planning it. The logistics alone had me worried because of just how much planning a trip like this requires. All the previous trips I've undertaken have been planned with either a large scale convoy or with someone else who's already done these sort of roads before. So from the planning perspective, there's a lot for me to really get into. The amount of distance I can do daily, uh, the kind of stops that I have to pick, I need to pace the drive well. And of course, things like brake days, which I hadn't really thought about doing. Uh, I have incorporated them because not only am I looking at the logistics and planning and uh, the execution which I'll be doing solo, but also I have to make sure that uh, over this extended period of time, 15 days, I can actually get the drive complete without having too much strain on myself. It's pushing me just the right amount, I think. So there is a lot to be excited about and I'm very glad I took this entire initiative on, but there is still a lot of uh, stuff that I'm a little worried about, mainly in terms of uh, 
making sure that everything goes fine, filming which is a whole new thing for me, I've not really had to focus too much on it before the last couple of months when I started this channel. So being able to get the right footage and putting it out there for you guys, that is something that I really want to prioritize and I am a little worried about uh, not being able to meet those criteria. So if any of you guys have done this trip before or even sections of it, I would love to know what your tips or advice for doing a road trip like this is down in the comment section below. I still have a couple of uh, days, actually it's just days, I thought it was going to be weeks before I head out on the trip. So I'd love to hear more from you guys. Okay, so let me also quickly walk you guys through the route that I'm going to be taking. It's, as I said, about uh, 15 days total. Day one, I go from Mumbai to Ahmedabad. Day two, I go from Ahmedabad to Ajmer. Day three, Ajmer to Delhi. Then day four is Delhi to Kanpur. Day five is Kanpur to Bodh Gaya. Day six is Bodh Gaya to Calcutta. That pretty much marks my halfway point at which I will take one day of uh, you know, a little bit of rest, get all my uh, footage and everything together. And uh, then day eight, I will move from uh, Calcutta to Bhuvaneshwar. Day nine, I will move from uh, Bhuvaneshwar to uh, Vishakhapatnam. Then from Vishakhapatnam to uh, Guntur, then Guntur to Chennai. Chennai, I'll take another day's rest, basically again to recoup before the last leg begins. And uh, the last leg is essentially from Chennai to Bangalore, Bangalore to um, Belgavi, and Belgavi to Mumbai. That's where my drive will end 15 days later. I will be back in this city back on the 26th of Feb. So there is gonna be a lot of action coming out of this. Now the way I'm planning the videos is I am going to be uploading one video every day after the journey has actually happened. So day one's footage will come to you on day two evening. Uh, that's the best I can do right now in terms of uh, getting the content out there. And it won't be produced to what my regular videos are. I want it to be a little more casual. I want it to be a little... Um, easier get a little bit more of just the road travel aspect into it won't be extremely technical and i'd love for you guys to be able to uh, join me along for this journey additionally i will post information about the dates that i'm going to be in the different cities so if any of you guys want to join along for any of the sections of uh, the drive even if it's a small section any of the cities that i'm passing you'll get a rough idea of where I am and I'll be posting on my social media those links also in the description. So you can just uh, see where my latest update is and maybe join along for a bit. I still have plenty of prep work still to do and uh, there is a whole lot happening behind the scenes but I'm going to keep you guys posted at least as frequently as I can. Expect more information to come out on this channel over the next couple of days before the journey kicks off. And I'm hoping you guys really do enjoy this series and do show me some support by uh, liking this video, subscribing to the channel and just comment down below uh, if there's anything else that you would either want me to see on the way or um, any, as I said before, if you have any advice, that would also be really uh, great and very helpful to me. And uh, yeah, guys. <laughs> The trip's gonna start really soon and I have plenty to do, so I'm gonna get back to it and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.